is me, Riley, and today I am doing my WWE Crown Jewels 2024 predictions. And yeah, it's going to be a good show. There was a big match confirmed last night on Raw. Uh, and I will say that later on in the video. But let's get started. First match, it is for the United States Championship. And the champion LA Knight Euro versus Carmelo Hayes versus Andrade. So a triple threat match. It was confirmed last Friday on SmackDown. So it was gonna it was Andrade versus Carmelo Hayes with LA Knight as referee, special guest. And then LA Knight literally got bored or something, I don't know. Went out the rain with his title saying, um, I don't even think he said anything actually. I, I think he just got his title and then just left. And then we saw him backstage with um, Nick Aldis, the general manager, saying, because no one actually won, you will face both of them at Crown Jewel. So it is a triple threat match. And I'm saying, <clears throat> Andrade's definitely not winning it. Carmelo Hayes could win it and LA Knight could win it. So I'm saying LA Knight and Carmelo. But who's actually gonna leave Saudi Arabia as United States champion? I'm saying LA Knight you yeah, retaining his belt. Next match we've been waiting for this match for a while now it is the Viper, Randy Orton. Versus KO Kevin Owens, a 1v1 match. Oh, mate, this match is going to be crazy. Um, yeah, there's too much to the storyline, so I won't really say much, but it's finally happening. And it's happening at Saudi, which is a bit weird. I thought it would be happening in Canada for Survivor Series, which is next month as well well i'm filming this on the 29th of october and this show's on the 2nd of november but there won't be any more matches confirmed and it's this saturday so it's not like it's not like i'm filming it a month before or anything but randy orton versus ko kevin owens Whew, this is actually hard It will make sense for both of them to win. I'm saying that Kevin Owens is going to get the win over the Viper, Randy Orton. So yeah, Kevin Owens is my pick. It is for the Women's Tag Team Championship. And it is a fatal four-way tag team match. It is the champions Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair. Versus the Lash Legends from NXT, um, who just came up to SmackDown recently, but still on the NXT roster. Versus um, EO Sky and Kyrie Sane from the Damage Control. Versus Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. So, yeah, this match basically came out nowhere, but they was always going to. Put the belts on the line but we didn't know against who i thought it would be piper niven and chelsea versus jade and bianca just a normal 2v2 but no it's a fatal four-way tag team match they like doing fatal four ways either tag team or just like four people in the ring at crown jewels in saudi so yeah um i'm saying that Lash Legends and Damage Control won't win. I'm saying it is going to be either the match I thought would happen, Piper Niven and Chelsea versus Jade and Bianca. I'm saying one of them two teams are going to win. Either Jade and Bianca is going to retain, or that Chelsea Green and Piper Niven will be new women tag team champions. Who am I going to pick? 
I'm saying that Chelsea Green and Piper Niven will be the new women's tag team champions. Next up, it is a 1v1. Seth freaking Rollins, who just came back from injury, versus Bronson Reed. Big Bronson Reed. Mate, this storyline just came out of nowhere when Seth Rollins came back. They just put him with Bronson Reed, but it's been a good one. Last night, um, they was fighting in the parking lot. Um, they was meant to n never see each other till the actual fight in Saudi on Saturday, 2nd of November, at the Abdul Arena Stadium, whatever it's called. I don't fucking know. But anyway, Seth versus Bronson. I'm saying Seth freaking Rollins with the win. Not really much to say. It's going to be a good fight, but we've basically seen... Who's going to win already? Um, looking at the parking lot fight. What happened last night on Raw. So yeah. Bye bye. Actually bye bye sorry. Um, see you in the next match. Next match sorry. Next match. It is champion be champion. For the crown jewels woman championship. Weird title. It was announced at Bad Blood. Um, Triple H announced it um, with some Saudi dude and they also have a men's championship match which I'll say that after this one but it is champion be champion for the Crown Jewels Women Championship it is the world heavyweight champion Liv Morgan versus the women's world champion Nia Jax ooh Rhea Ripley's definitely getting involved with this. I definitely see that happening. Dom Dom will probably get involved with Raquel Rodriguez as well. And I'm saying Liv Morgan will win and be double champ with her World Heavyweight Champion, Women's Champion, and with the Women's Crown Jewel Championship as well. Nia Jax will finally be beaten because I hate her. Up here is now the men's crown jewel champion with the champion feed champion Cody Rose, the world heavyweight champion. No, sorry, the world, the, the undisputed WWE champion versus the WWE world champion Gunther. This match is going to be crazy. First time ever it's happening. Uh. Who's actually going to win though? I really don't know. Mm. Well, on Smackdown this Friday, it is going to be Cody and Randy versus Ludwig Kaiser and Gunther. So, but that's pretty recorded because obviously they're all being Saudi. So... And then after they travel to Saudi, they have to travel to the UK because they're coming back for UK shows again. So, yeah. Which I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going or not, but, yeah. Um, <sighs> Cody v Gunther. What a match. That's one of my dream matches. Everyone's dream matches, really. Um... <laughs> I really don't know. Well, Cody hasn't lost yet. Gunther hasn't lost yet. But Cody's had his belt for like 215 days now. Yeah, something like that. Because it was like 200 days like two weeks ago probably. Maybe, yeah. Something like that. But, and Gunther won it after him at Somerset. Yeah, SummerSlam, SummerSlam. Because Cody was on it um, this year at WrestleMania. And then obviously, after Mania, which is in April, SummerSlam is in August. So, yeah, that's where Gunther won it. But I'm saying that... <sighs> it's 
it's not like the Bloodline can really get involved with Cody and Goldberg's match because they got a match as well, which I'm saying for the last match after this clip. But I'm saying Cody Rhodes will be the new Crown Jewels men's champion and still the undisputed WWE champion. So yeah, on to the last match. Last match. There are seven matches on the card. But yeah, last match here. What got announced last night, what a match. It is the Usos are back, yeah. Jay and Jimmy Uso, yeah. And Roman Reigns versus the current bloodline. Um, Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu and Tama Tonga with Tongaloa on the side. Um, so Tama Tonga and Tongaloa just lost their tag team belts to the Moto Moto Guns, um, caused by the Bloodline. Um, sorry, the Usos. Um, so yeah, this match is going to be so good. Wait, this is literally happening at Survivor Series, but with one more person. Because it's going to be a... F Actually, no. Is it two more people added on? Because it's a war game match. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a 4v4 or 5v5. It could be any, I think. But yeah, this match is literally happening at Survivor Series. Just with one or two more uh, members on each side. Which probably be like The Rock or Sami Zayn. Oh, both teams or whatever. But yeah, uh, I'm saying the Usos, Jimmy and Jay. The Usos and Roman Reigns will pick up the win against the current bloodline. Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu and Tama Tonga. Thank you for watching the video. Um, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.